In this walkthrough, we'll cover the steps needed to set up an outdoor propagation scenario to simulate 5G throughput in Wireless Insight. For this example, I will be using externally sourced geometry from a third-party vendor rather than using Wireless Insight's built-in creation tools. First, we will be importing geolocated terrain, building, and foliage layers representing a portion of Santa Clara, California. We'll begin by importing the terrain file, which is in TIFF format. Open the context menu by right-clicking, then select Import Terrain. Enter a short description to name the terrain, and click the button by the file name field to open a file explorer. Choose TIFF from the file type drop-down menu and navigate to the desired file. If applicable, the geolocation information fields will automatically populate. The sampling interval field will also auto-populate to the optimal interval as determined by Wireless Insight. The sampling interval is used to reduce the resolution of the imported terrain in order to yield a manageable level of fidelity for Wireless Insight simulations, balanced between accuracy and runtime. We also have the option to change the material that will be applied to the terrain, but we'll do that later. Clicking Import will bring the terrain into the project. The next feature to import will be the buildings. For this example, the building file is in shapefile format. To import it, right-click and select Import, Shapefile. When prompted to select the type of feature that will be imported, select City from the drop-down menu. Similar to the terrain, select the desired file to import. In this example, the buildings will be imported with their heights relative to the elevation of the terrain, though sea level can also be selected. Some shapefile formats contain attributes that Wireless Insight can use to specify the top and bottom elevation of each building. In this instance, height is the only available attribute, which informs the shapefile importer on how tall the extruded buildings should be while the bottom will be automatically adjusted to the elevation of the terrain under each building footprint. Here, we will also change the material of the buildings before importing. Click on the Set Material button, which will open the Choose Material dialog. The bottom panel contains the materials that are included in Wireless Insight's default materials database, including several frequency-specific options for common materials. This simulation will be intended to run at 28 GHz, so we will select the 28 GHz concrete material from the list, then click Import to bring the buildings into the project. The last feature to import is foliage, which is also in shapefile format. Following the same workflow as the buildings, right-click, select Import Shapefile, and choose Foliage from the drop-down list. Select the desired file, and choose any necessary shapefile attributes. Then click Import. All of the geometry required for this scenario has now been imported into the project. Now that the geometry is imported, we can make adjustments to the materials or replace them as needed. On the Materials tab of the main window, you will see a list of materials that are currently assigned to each feature in the project. As mentioned before, this example will be running at 28 GHz, so the materials should be replaced with their frequency-specific versions from the included materials database, which can be seen in the lower portion of the Materials tab. The default materials database includes a variety of common frequency-specific building and terrain materials and supports the addition of custom user-defined materials as well. We already changed the concrete material used on the buildings, so now we'll replace the material used for the terrain. On the materials tab, 
right-click the default wet earth material that's assigned to the terrain feature and select Replace. In the Choose Material window, select the ITU Medium Dry Earth 28 GHz material and click OK. The new material will be added to the feature and we can see that the previous material is now listed as not in use. This material can be left here or deleted from the project if desired. The default material assigned to the foliage is one of Wireless Insight's included attenuation material. This does not need to be updated now, as foliage attenuation is specified elsewhere for X3D, which is the propagation model we will be using to perform the simulation in a later step. In other cases where changes to the foliage material are desired, they can be performed using the same workflow as material adjustments for other features.